Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining Your Mechs, episode two. Been, <laughs> been working on this episode for five days now, trying to find consistent ways to test a lot of different mechs. And I just want to show you some of the issues because it affects performance and, and how we use a mech. And I don't know if there's a good solution, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that can affect uh, greatly uh, performance of mech, at, at least this one, the uh, Wizmac RX Machina, but uh, perhaps others too. And just to quickly go over what I had set up, I'm using a 60 amp, 3.5 volt power supply as the battery that's running at the 3.497 volts right now. We're passing 30 amps of current, not 35, because I realized some unregulated boxes and mech box mods, uh, 35 amps was just too high. Uh, passing that through an atomizer, down through the mod via an aluminum slug acting as a battery and out and then this electronic load is set to 30 amps and will draw 30 amps no matter what resistance the mod has and back into the power supply so we just got this loop and using 30 amps knowing 30 amps is always there and measuring the voltage across the post that voltage divided by 30 amps gives you the resistance of the mod and the atomizer this is a goon 1.5 and I've got this bench top meter reading the voltage across here, and I've also got, um, excuse me, just gonna turn this off for a second, uh, the power passing from one post through the mod and out the other post. So let's get the 2700 mod. I'll show you some of the issues here. And the meter in the lower right is the one you're gonna be reading, we're gonna be reading all the voltages off of. That's this one. So that's put on about normal. Positive down as the instructions say, or at least that's what I thought I remember them saying. And I'm gonna tighten this as I normally as I normally would. You know, pretty snug. And what I'm gonna do is to prevent any arcing damage that may affect the resistance as the test proceed. I'm gonna press the button, start the current flow, read the voltage, stop the current flow, let go of the button every time i'm trying to work on something better maybe i'll just set this the pulse on and off and time my button presses to the pulses of this but right now we'll do it manually so press the button and i'm going to press it you know what normal would feel you know normal press and we're reading about you know, 0.7 volts 0.67 let's try it again okay about 0.69 volts Okay, so that's a normal button press, but, and it, with a normal tightening, but if we go past that and I press really hard, 0 0.52, 0 0.54, 0 0.45, Point five two. So there's a difference in the voltage drop, namely there's a difference in the resistance based on how tight this is. I also found that during my tests, this would suddenly feel loose. Um, and we can, uh, I'll just keep a bunch of current passing through it. And you know, now we're back up to a 0 0.5, 0 0.59, 0 0.6, and I've got 30 amps flowing, 29.999, uh, through this setup right now. And I would find out that this I think is expanding from the heat because this starts to heat up not nearly as much as the coil that's why I like it let's try this again 0.58 and what it would allow me to do is as it expanded I could tighten it up a lot more as this expanded as it got warm and look at that 0.37 because I got it that much tighter because I think this is expanding. I, I'm not really sure what's going on, but I want to come up with a consistent testing methodology that takes these into account so we don't get false readings or at least have three different ways like a cold, everything cold, normal button press, and then go and as it gets hot, you know, do a really hard button press, which is what this is for. The, get mashed down really hard. And now we're at 0 
and to have that range, the high and the low, and for each mod, I'm hoping that some other mods with a shorter button throw or different contact areas or less susceptibility to heat and expansion there, that the range of numbers are smaller or just somehow more consistent than what I see here, where literally we're going from a 0 0.30 volt drop all the way up to like, a what was it, a 0 0.6, 0 0.68 volt drop. That's a, a doubling of the resistance. So that's it for this time. The next one will be the testing on this and uh, find out what the results actually are. Thank you for watching.